Our next inductee is one of the pioneers of field hockey and lacrosse and was a two-sport athlete, two-sport captain who played in every game and received numerous honors. She also left quite an impression on her head coach, Marty Morrison, who is here with us tonight. Thanks for flying in, Marty, from Chicago to join us and be here for Buthena and everybody else. Marty shares, if Buthena were coming to college just five years later, she would have most likely received a Division I field hockey scholarship. But fortunately for the Union field hockey program, she decided to come to Union. She played field hockey and also lacrosse and was captain of both teams multiple times. In her sophomore year, we were playing Middlebury on the old Garris field, and we were losing two to one with less than a minute to go in the game. Now, just a point of interest, we had never scored a goal on Middlebury, so getting in one was a real victory in the early days. Buthena was not of that mindset. She wanted more. She intercepted a pass at our defensive 25 yard line and took off down the field. She dribbled to the left, cut back to the right, dodged a Middlebury player at the 50 yard line, again cut to the left and then back to the right, leaving several Middlebury players stumbling. She put on a burst of speed and dribbled to the top right side of the striking circle and took a blistering shot at the goal cage with only a few seconds left on the game clock. With the ball now at the back of the cage for the first time in Union College field hockey history, we walked away with a tie with Middlebury. This was a turning point for the program that carried into the next season where we qualified for the New York State Women's Collegiate Championships and came in third in the state. 30 years later, I still remember that play. It was a thing of beauty for what she accomplished, what she achieved. Let's learn more about Buthania's wonderful career here at Union. Bethena Shukri, class of 1981. Field hockey and lacrosse. Bethena Shukri is one of the pioneers of field hockey and lacrosse at Union College and has been so instrumental in assisting both programs over 30 years after her graduation. She served as a captain in multiple seasons for both sports, which began varsity play in 1975. Shukri played in every game for both teams for four seasons and received numerous honors. She won the ECAC Medal of Merit, which is presented for excellence in the classroom and on the fields of competition. And received the President's Award for Athletics in her freshman and senior years. She was also the team most valuable player for hockey in her junior and senior years. Athena later was a leader in the Moran Initiative, a fundraising program to benefit both the Union College field hockey and lacrosse programs. Athena Shukri, welcome to the Union College Athletics Hall of Fame. First, congratulations to my fellow inductees. It's really a privilege to be in your company. I'd really like to thank the staff of the athletic department. This is really a special evening you've put together for us, and I'm most grateful. I work in alumni relations myself, so I really appreciate the hard work that goes into putting on an event like this. It's really an honor for me to be here 
And um, this really holds great significance for me, this induction. But before I tell you more about why that is, I need to thank some family and friends. Laura, Rachel, Ben, and Casey, thank you so much for being here tonight. Ben, go ahead and raise your hand a second. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, the young man who just raised his hand is your National Little League batting champion for Albany for this year. Thank you to my love, my husband Jeffrey, my sister Fiona, Union College grad, 89, a fellow lacrosse and field hockey player, my daughter Jessica, a four-year varsity swimmer in college, her boyfriend John, thank you for being here tonight and part of this very special time for me. Over 36 years ago, I met Nancy and Chuck Hart, and they are here tonight. Thank you so much for making the trek to be here. A very, very special thank you to Nancy, my former teammate and roommate for her continued friendship and for endorsing me in this nomination with her very, very kind words. Um, the first person to nominate me, Marty Morrison, my field hockey and lacrosse coach, is here tonight and I'm truly touched. Marty and I both began at Union in the fall of 1977 when the lacrosse and field hockey programs were in their infancy. Before there were ropes courses and overpriced consultants brought in to bond teams, there was apple picking. Every fall, Marty took our team apple picking. It wasn't so much to get us off campus, but it was a really deliberate effort to build team unity. Her strategy worked. Our first year, we were six and six. Our second year, we were nine and three. Our third year, we were eight, one, and one, and ranked number one in the New York State postseason championship. Our fourth year, we were, ranked, we were eight, one, and one, and ranked fourth postseason. I, we, we enjoyed tremendous success under Marty's coaching, and for those experiences, I'm really grateful. But I'm most grateful to Marty for something she did off the field. 19 years after I graduated from Union, my mother died. We had a small memorial service for her in Newton, Massachusetts, where I grew up and my mother had lived. The very first person I saw when I walked in that chapel was Marty. That loving gesture is something I will never forget, so thank you so much for that. So the word pioneer has been used to describe me. Really? Pioneer? I mean, that makes me feel so old. I mean, when I think of pioneers, I think of covered wagons and, you know, Madame Curie and monkeys in space. You know, and then I got to thinking, maybe, maybe that's a word I should embrace. There's a reason why they use that word. So I looked up the word in the dictionary until I found a definition I liked. So, pioneer. One of the first people to do something important that is later continued and developed by other people. So let me take you back in time to those early pioneer days. In 1969, I was nine years old, and some boys in the neighborhood asked me to uh, join them in the touch football game they were having. I'd never played touch football. George told me to go out for a long bomb. So I hiked the ball to George, I ran down to the far telephone pole, I turned around and I caught the ball for a touchdown. The boys were ecstatic. I had instant credibility. More importantly, I had respect. Because you see, in those days, those pioneer days, um, girls weren't supposed to excel in sports. They weren't supposed to be athletic. In 1969, Title IX, the Federal Civil Rights Act, which prohibited sex discrimination in education, had not yet passed. There wasn't a women's division in the Boston Marathon yet. Sadly, when I got to Union, um, respect for women athletes um, had not permeated the campus. It would not have been unusual for our field hockey field not to be lined before a game. You could see Marty out there one hour before our game putting down chalk lines herself. Our senior year, my co-captains Nancy, Deb Dowdy, and I met with the athletic director. 
Our field was a disaster. It was marshy on one end, and it was a rocky dust bowl on the other. It was very dangerous for field hockey players. So we, we laid out other available field options for him, and he rejected them outright. I think Marty brought her lawnmower to campus then to mow down the marshy end of the field that year. I was in, so, so let me ask you, can, can you imagine a football field not being lined before a game? Can you imagine allowing the men's ice hockey team to play on a rink where the ice is melting and it's even more dangerous at the other end? I was in California when Jim called me with the news of the induction. Before he hung up, he said, I think you'll be pleased to know that the field hockey team just returned from Ireland where they had a wonderful experience touring and playing throughout the country. Jim had it half right. <laughs> to be sure, it was, it was nice to hear of this extraordinary opportunity for the team. What I was really pleased about, what mattered so much to me, was to hear the utter joy and enthusiasm in Jim's voice in sharing that information. Pioneer, one of the first people to do something important that has continued and developed by other people. Thank you for this honor, not just for myself, but for all the athletic, remarkable, and talented women with whom I had the privilege of doing something important. Thank you.